I, the other day, I was digging in my garage and I found this a long time forgotten thing. Uh, a box in bubble wrap, some manufacturer plate here, some connector here it seems, and it is written naturally the date of packing and what it is. So, uh, electrical module from a Soviet or Russian tank. And I did put it in the bubble wrap in 2008. So more than 10 years forgotten thing. I am quite happy to rediscover this and uh, have a look at it with you today. I do not remember what we have in this. Exactly. Be discovery for me and must. I will uh, probably use a new bubble wrap when putting it back in storage. So it is this. Tech number K O U. U1A, uh, big giant number here, nice uh, logo as a motor or generator. We have one plug here with just uh, seven contacts. Some cover apparently for a selector jumper in this. So uh, it is still uh, sealed from the factory, so maybe I will not remove this cover, it must just be a jumper. At the bottom, a lot of screws to attach the internal components, and some of them are stopped with these uh, plates with bent corners to prevent them from turning. Quite interesting. So, let's see what we have inside. Apparently, just three screws to undo. So, it will be a Quick one, this video. Okay. Ah, a couple of screws here. And here we are. So, nothing inside the cover except for uh, some quality or con control stamp. And we have this. Actually, I have a teardown of another similar box on my channel. I will link if uh, I find it again. And it seems to be pretty similar. So I will zoom in for you. A lot of uh, very typical Soviet parts. We will start from this corner. Uh, Paper oil uh, capacitor, the regular model. Power resistors. Some uh, maybe wound resistor here behind. Another one here. Potentiometer. A two set of uh, what seems to be just bridge rectifiers. With this metal can diodes. This module, sadly, seems it is not possible to open it uh, with no damage at least you know what i will probe this and see if it is not possible to do something here excuse me hmm. not sure maybe it is filled with uh, Yes, seems to be filled with a white potting compound. Yes, you can see actually it here. So there is no point at uh, opening it. I am not sure if I did this myself or if it is somebody else. But uh, there is no point at trying to open it because anyways it will be filled with uh, this white uh, silicone thing. Uh, other side here little uh, transformer with all the specifications written on it. Apparently, 
we'll show if it is voltage here yeah, but we should have uh, 1,030 volts, 1,130 seems a really lot for uh, this kind of uh, small transformer. More capacitors here. Uh, here, just your two. Yes, seems to be banana plugs actually. Uh, something like this for the two jumpers in here. And in the middle, uh, one more. Maybe a doctor or a transformer here. Relay here. Just one single contact relay. One more of the bridge rectifier modules. And this word unknown. Apparently resistor. As it is written R9. In a very unusual shape. And it is all one of the potentiometer. Here you can see actually one of the three uh, contacts here is not uh, connected to anything here at the back. Here. Uh, apart from this, the case is made of a solid piece of die cast aluminium as you can see. Almost 20 centimeters long and a good one kilo and half and something like this. Okay, so just one more random thing from my garage. Very nice uh, cable lacing work here and they did secure all the knots with uh, some uh, lacquer apparently. So it is not uh, going anywhere. Okay, so I'm not sure what to do with uh, this kind of stuff because I have a lot of it. Would love to see inside this, but I know it will not be possible. And I saw the screws to undo it are uh, secured with the plates here. Very uh, serious stuff. So, nothing terribly interesting in here, but I am still happy to rediscover this thing after more than 10 years of st storage. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.